Hi, uh, well today is um, uh, July of uh, 21st, 2011. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, how to how to build a, a overvolted uh, original 24 volt uh, last shot scooter, and you can do it with live scooters. But um, I'm going to show you how to. Uh, how to put that together. So, here it goes. Hey guys, uh, I'm just here today. It's July 20, 21st, 2011, and um, I bet you guys are all wondering, like, you know, you buy the little wimpy kind of uh, scooters that you get from, say, Target or Walmart or online, you know. Well, what I've been doing for the last uh, pretty much seven, nine years, seven to nine years, uh, and ten years, uh, maybe beyond that, uh, I've been building a lot of projects. Well, I took a, 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 2000, a 2005 Lash Out, Lash Out Scooter Curry, and um, it's, a, it's got a, um, a, br a brushless motor, and uh, it's, it's, only, it's a BMC, uh, uh, 400 watt. They say it's 300 watt, but actually they underrated them because um, for the state laws, whatever. And uh, so what, what 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 they did was is that they underrated them just like they do with a lot of cars and scooters and stuff. They for insurance purposes. So um, I'm gonna show you my my 2005 Lasha scooter, and um, I'll give you some ideas of what you can do. Okay, this is uh, my 2005 Lash House scooter. It's um, it took the the back brake and I made the the, the front brake work harder. If that makes any sense. <laughs> um, and the. Uh, it's got it's got any mm, so I can zoom in and make it better you can see it put in the sunlight. <clears throat> it's got uh, an original radars on there. Pretty cool, huh? Can't really see it, but if you push the button, the light turns on. That's factory. That's stock on lots of scooters. Also, you can see it in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, it's got um, a, tw a 25 inch chain on there and um, you know a lot of scooters today they have um, gear driven well the good thing about chain is you can, you can shorten or make it longer so I could take this actually this gear which I already have a 52 two tooth and uh, change it from a 92 to a 52 tooth and I can make it go 40 miles an hour only problem is I, I, I need a um, you know a motor that's around about a thousand watts. So you so if you guys out there are thinking of putting um, a 15 tooth to a, a 52 tooth, um, you're gonna need um, more more wattage and voltage, basically the same thing. Um, just don't have enough torque. So otherwise the motor gets too hot. Um, so the lowest you can go is about a 72 tooth on a, on a, on a 400 watt BMC br brushless motor and the reason why I say that is because um, it's about all they can take but it, if you're going to go from a 50 I mean a 90 tooth to a 52 tooth then again you want a, around 750 watt to um, about a thousand watt and, and of course it doesn't hurt to go even higher than that um, the good thing about brushless motors is that they um, they put out more torque and they spin faster. So they spin faster. That's um, that's uh, that's more um, top end and more torque. Um, I'll show you a little more about it. It's got the uh, the the aluminum um, wheels, which. Uh, 
I, I believe they're aluminum, but they're very strong. It's got the dual uh, dual shock suspension, which is pretty cool. I keep a uh, little uh, you know band on there to so if I, I go to a store or something, I want to put something on there. You know, he's added something on there, like a basket or something, but you know, I haven't done that. Um, so what I did was I took the original batteries out. I bought this for $78 from a guy at a, at a, on Craigslist. And uh, what I did was I took the batteries that were inside here. You can see. Inside this little uh, holder. And um, it was 24 volt and they were bad. And I bought a new battery. It's called uh, Zeus. 36 volt. And I went to the store and I bought from my Lowe's got a little strap down so then what you do is you run it into the inside the scooter with the fuse and it goes all the way back here to the motor so you basically what is great is you don't have to have a controller because the controller is already built um, inside inside the motor which is great because that eliminates um, have, have to blow out controllers and stuff like that. But then again, if you blow out the controller on um, you know the uh, motor, well then that's it. <laughs> You're done for. Um, so it's got the uh, suspension on the front. It folds down. And of course, uh, I added a pretty cool a little light there, which is uh, actually a flashlight, but it's. Uh, it's a very high output uh, LED and uh, it brights up everything. This is a thumb throttle. A lot, a lot of scooters have um, have the, you know, um, the regular where you just, um, like a grip thing. But So I put new grips on this one and, uh, and the brakes and fixed them all up. So we're going to go for a little ride and show you how it goes. Okay hey guys, um, we're going to go for a little ride, I'll show you how it works. Always wear your helmet, everybody, always wear your helmet, okay. Going about 26, 27, 28. And let off. Bring you back and uh, so again with uh, 36 volts, you can go between uh, 10 
and 12 miles. That's not full throttle though, that's you know, about 8 miles. Um, it depends on how, how many amps you have. On my battery I have, um, it's, it's a 36 volt, 12 volt, 12 amp hour. I mean 36 volt, 12, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, 12 amp. If you go up to 18 amp, which you can, you get a longer range. So um, again, you know, you got this 300 watt BMC, which is an excellent motor, one of the best that Curry ever made. And um, that's about all for now. So uh, give you guys some ideas of what to do to make that little wimpy 24 volt, you know, go. Have a good day. Bye.